welcome back and today we're gonna do another book tag and I've seen a lot of people do this I will link the original one down below it's the Disney book tag it was created by Kat at Cattytastic and I will uh, link her channel down below and the original video link I love Disney so much it's such a big part of our family so I wanted to do the Disney book tag let's get into the video the first one is The Little Mermaid, and that is a character who is out of their element, essentially a fish out of water. And for that, I chose Jude from The Cruel Prince by Holly Black. Jude and her two sisters, her twin and her half-sister, witness the murder of their parents, and then they have to be taken and raised by the man who, the man slash they who murdered them. They're taken to the land of fairy and they there is a lot of prejudice against them as they are humans living in the fae world. The fae don't really like them and they are bullied a lot so that is why I chose her for a fish out of water because she lives amongst the fae but she's not a fae. The second one is Cinderella and that is a character who goes through a major transformation and for that I chose Olive from The Unhoneymooners by Christina Lauren. She goes through a huge transformation throughout this book. She starts off very critical of herself and throughout the book you get to watch her grow and learn about who she really is inside and find herself and start to love who she is and I think that is beautiful. So that is why I chose her for this. In the end you see a huge transformation from the olive that we met in the beginning. Number three is Snow White and for Snow White that is a book with an eclectic cast of characters and for that I chose The Cerulean by Amy Ewing. I loved this book and for this I picked this because there are two different worlds like literally planets <laughs> you see the ones from the city above the city above the the world or what do they call it oh the city above the sky called the ceruleans and then you also see the people on earth at least i'm assuming that it's earth there's just a bunch of different characters here and di from different places different worlds different views so that's why I chose this one and the next one is Sleeping Beauty a book that puts you to sleep and I don't usually keep books that I don't enjoy and that make me fall asleep so I don't have this book but I did read this book and that is The Devil in the White City by Eric Larson the only reason I put this here is I don't usually fall asleep reading books, so it's really hard for me to pick for this. But this is a nonfiction book, and nonfiction books tend to bore me, and I fall asleep reading them. And so I picked this one. I read it last year. So it was about the murderer H. H. Holmes and also the World's Fair. I was expecting it to be more about the serial killer and less about the fair, but it was more about the fair and the building of the fair and stuff like that. So that's why I put this one for that. Number five is The Lion King, a character who had something traumatic happen to them in childhood. And this one I had a hard time picking because there was a few that I wanted to use, but I already had used them for different, qu different prompts for this tag. And I didn't want to keep using the same one so I chose the character Maggie Hosky from A Trail of Lightning. Um, Maggie witnesses her grandmother who raised her being uh, murdered and eaten by cannibals so yeah that's pretty traumatic. Number six is Beauty and the Beast. A beast of a book, a big book, that you were intimidated by but found the story to be beautiful. For that one I could choose none other than Children of Blood and Bone by Tomi Adeyemi and um, I was terrified to read this book. It's a hunk of a book, basically a brick, and it this story was beautiful and I loved this book so much. Number seven is Aladdin, a character who gets their wish granted for better or for worse. And that I had to choose Harry Potter from uh, the Sorcerer's Stone, really any of the Harry Potter books, 
Harry was neglected by his aunt and uncle, lived under the stairs, and he wanted to have something special and wonderful happen to him. And he found out he was a wizard. If you haven't read Harry Potter by now, you need to read this. It is one of the greatest books ever. Number eight is Mulan, a character who pretends to be something that they're not. For that, I chose Natasha Castell from Frozen by Melissa De La Cruz and Michael Johnston. Um, in this, Natasha pretends to be normal when really she was anything but normal. Uh, she is very special with uh, certain abilities. Number nine is Toy Story, a book with characters that you wish would come to life. And for this, I chose City of Bones by Cassandra Clare. I would love if these characters would come to life. And the final one, number 10, Disney's Descendants, your favorite villain or morally ambiguous character. And for that, I have two. The first one is Damon from The Vampire Diaries because who doesn't love Damon? He's dangerous and fun. And the second one is Rowan Damish from Thunderhead. And if you've read this, you know why I picked him, I'm pretty sure. So thanks for watching. Those are all the ones I have for you. If you enjoyed this video, like down below. If you'd like to see more from us, uh, hit the subscribe button and the notification bell. Bye! My